When you want to alter the color of your project, you have some options. Here I have three. A stain designed for the pigments to penetrate deeply into the wood. A wash designed to be slightly more on the surface. And a dye, which is similar to a stain, but it dries more quickly and it's very strong. Before I pick up and start wiping, I need to mix these thoroughly. You see that? That is all the color that you're trying to get into your piece. You want that mix throughout. Now I'm ready to begin staining. Fold your rag so the edges are in the inside. That's gonna keep little fuzzies out of your finish layers. I'm gonna rub in the direction of the grain. What I'm not doing is putting way too much on and sloshing it all around everywhere. Putting too much on can cause the wood grain to raise. Then I go back and I wipe it. I make sure the top coat's sort of even, like this. That looks great. Don't over wipe, just leave it and come back when it's dry. So let's talk about dyes. I have this painting here and I want to apply a frame all the way around the outside, but I want my frame to be jet black wood. The reason I've chosen a dye for this is because the pigments in the dye are really saturated. I can get this wood super black and still show the grain. At the end of the day, the way it looks is all about preference. But now you know the process to do it the right way. That's a really ugly painting. What? No, it's great. I like it. It's real shiny.